up, peeps? It's Great White making it happen again today with some more Portal Knights. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm having just a fantastically great day today myself. And I'm excited to share with you guys what we are going to be learning about today. You know what's really annoying about timers? I had this beef with Portal Knights for the longest time. The thing that drives me crazy about timers is that when you turn a timer on, let's grab something like, uh, let's say, just a lever. Let's throw this lever down and hook this lever up to turn on this timer. When I flip this lever, it takes one second for that to turn on. Why? Do you take forever to turn on? It's so annoying. It should be happening right away. It should be happening. There should be a zero second timer. It would make life so much easier if I could flip the lever and it turned on right away. And that would make a lot of things easier. Like we made the countdown clock. We made the scrolling marquee. We made the Simon Says. There's a million things that could have been made better if the timers could have a zero second countdown if they would turn on immediately as soon as they received a signal store that signal and then allow us to remove it when we needed to well introducing the sr latch the sr latch is, is an actual uh, combinational logic uh circuit that is used in computer science that people use to actually make computers do stuff it's a real thing it's like a fundamental thing about computers and it's it's an amazing tool for our purposes in this game so what this does is exactly what it's what i we were just describing if i press this button immediate immediately it switches i press this button immediately it switches so we can call this one turning on call this one turning off and I guess you're probably wondering how these work exactly well it's really not very complicated at all so if we want to go ahead and build our own SR latch right now all we need is a couple of NOR gates now if you guys don't know already what NOR gates do is they will take a look and if neither of the inputs is true it will send an output so if you look at it right now it is on it's glowing it's on if we get a connection and we put it into here now this one is off because this one is on. There's no connection, so it's sending a signal here. And now this one is, is receiving a signal, so that is not a NOR connection, so that this one's off. And then what we can do is we can send a signal back into this one. So what happens is this one is sending a signal because this is not true. This one's not on. If we turn this one on, it will turn that one off. And it works just like a switch. It just switches each other on and off. So if we grab, let's say, a couple levers. Let's do this one and this one. And we'll say that this top one, when it's on, will say the signal is on. So the way we do this is we take this, we put it into, oh, oops. We take this, put it into the bottom one. We take this one over here, put it into the top one. So these two NOR gates are leading into each other. And now, if we put a signal into this one, then it's no longer a NOR because both of them are on, and it will turn this on. And this will now be off, and this one won't be on, so it will send a signal, and it will be on. So, turn it on, turn it off, turn it on turn it off and this is immediate so we get the same kind of function as the timer that we were looking at earlier which we can kind of put side by side and you can see exactly the difference here let's hook this up and let's put this into turning the timer on and put this one to turning the timer off so we can see side by side the exact difference here flip it there's a one second delay for the timer but for the SR latch it turns on and off immediately it's immediate. There's no delay at all. Well, there may be like a very, 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 very short delay based on the clock in the game, but there's not actually any, for our purposes, there's not really a delay. It's immediate. So this is something that opens up so many new possibilities. I've been using them for a couple weeks now. I've been waiting to make the video until I had a firmer grasp on how things were working in the game. Um, there is a... Uh, commenter on my my channel the, I think his name is cherry bomb he's been making this suggestion for a while I, I saw he mentioned SR latches a couple times and I I did look at them eventually I kind of stumbled upon them when I was doing research about this combination of logic but yeah kudos to him for for definitely stumbling upon these way way before I did but they're definitely super super useful now there's more than one type of SR latch there's more than one kind of these things and 
we can kind of take a look at uh, at how those would work. Let's check out, for example, this is a this is a different kind. This is a NAND gate latch. So these are actually NAND gates, but it's the same concept. They lead into each other, and then we have a signal that leads into them. We're using a NOT gate um, because this is looking for if it's not both of them on, then it will turn on. Now this is kind of similar to the NOR gate. We don't have to go through the logic of how these ones work exactly, but what you can know is that these ones do the opposite. So in over here, when we look at these, it, when you put a signal into one, it turns the other one on. Put a signal into one, it turns the other one on. With these, when you put a signal into one, it turns the one that you're putting a signal into on. Now, this isn't super important, honestly, in my opinion, guys. If you're wanting to use an SR latch to get an immediate response, I would just use the NOR gates. Because you can just, you can get whatever functionality out of this that you want the same way you could get it out of this. And this one uses less, there's less to it. It's less complicated, less complex. So, I wouldn't worry too much about the NAND gate SR latch, I would kind of stick to the NOR gate because it's simpler and easier in my opinion. And you can set it up the same way you would set up a, a timer. The difference is the bottom input turns it on, the top input turns it off. Whereas with timers, bottom turns it off, top turns it on. But whatever, not a big deal. I mean, that's a pretty easy fix. But the other thing that's pretty cool with, about these SR latches is that you can create gates. So I've kind of labeled these. These are our SR latches. These are gated SR latches. So you can create a rule or a condition for your SR latch that says it only works if something is true. So I kind of did something here to do that. It, over here, we have the same kind of SR latch. This, but the difference is this ant, this, this button that would normally turn it on, right? Instead of going straight into the NOR gate, I have it leading into an AND gate that then leads into the NOR gate in front of it. And then we added a second condition for that AND gate. So it's not just that the button is pressed, it's that this is also on. So I have the button is pressed and the blue lever is on. As long as those are true, it will turn it on. So if I try and press this now, we're not going to get any signal. Nothing's going to happen until this condition is met. And now if we try and do it, it will work. It works exactly like it's supposed to. So you can create a condition so that this doesn't turn on until a certain condition is met. And that doesn't have to be a lever. It could be, uh, it doesn't turn on until an enemy is killed. It doesn't turn on until a, a button is pressed or a, a switch is flipped or a door is opened or something like that. It could be any of those things uh, until a timer comes on. And we know that we can make timers be just about anything. They're, they're really easy to be well, or, or a different SR latch, for example. You could say you can't turn on these S this SR latch until a different SR latch is turned on also. There's so many things that you could use for your condition. The limits are endless. So it's really, really useful. You can do the same thing with the NAND gate latches. Um, we looked at these earlier. If I try and do this now, it's not going to work. But if we flip on the condition, boom, now it is working. Easy peasy. Pretty cool stuff, guys. Pretty cool stuff. So SR latches game changer for the longest time i was so mad i was so angry with portal lights and keen games i said why don't you guys have a zero second ti timer it would make life so much easier the whole a the answer was there the whole time i just needed to do some research about it and if you guys want to get better at this stuff and you want to learn more about these logic these logic gates these logic blocks i strongly recommend that you guys go check out um just like any combinational logic tutorial videos on youtube just to research combinational logic because the things they do on those videos directly translate to this game i'm learning a lot about about well, I want to say computer science. I don't know if that's totally correct, but just just logic gates in general. And then it, 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 everything they teach you, like in classrooms, like on those videos, it translates perfectly to this game. It's so awesome. And I've, I've been able to make a lot of awesome things just from what I've learned about that. But guys, I hope this was useful for you. Make sure you do like the video if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I would love to have you guys subscribed over here. Um, I'm trying to make a career out of this, and you subscribing does help me reach that goal. Um, 
Make sure you leave a comment if you have anything to say about what we've, we've discussed today. If you have any suggestions for things we should build. I'm starting a new series that will be coming out later today, actually, where I build what you suggest. So if you guys have things you want to see built, give me a suggestion. I will do my best to make it happen. But that's about it, guys. You've been a pleasure as always, and I hope you do have just the best kind of day. See you later, dudes!